hey guys, I need you to do me a favor. Um, help me fight the algorithm. Uh, go ahead and hit like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon for new notifications. Thank you. Oh yeah, because I, I definitely want to go into the next book, because next book is to tease something that's happening a little bit later. Now, it was an older book, but I didn't realize it was an older book, because I just picked it up off the shelf. It must have been there for a while, but uh, we are covering Star Trek Picard, Stargazer number two. Now, why did I pick up this book? Because this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Lindsay, Ashleen, and I will be going over, uh, we'll be doing our Star Trek stream, except this time we'll be going over the character of Seven of Nine and her highlights in Voyager and kind of, kind of talk a little bit about Picard as well, but mostly her highlights on Voyager. And, and Seven of Nine is on this cover, so it seemed like a good way to remind myself to talk about that. So, we got... Star Trek Picard Stargazer number two. Uh, this is written by Kristen Bayer and Mike Johnson. Art by Angel Hernandez. Colors by J.D. Metzler. Hey, it's by Heather Antos. <laughs> Anyways, the planet Genjor 6, 27 years ago, is Romulan being let out. And then a Reman is coming saying, you have to take us with you. Something is happening to the planet. The people are dying. The Senator's kind of blowing her off. Um, you know, and then the Reman's saying, but we cannot stay on this day at the plant. Please at least take your daughter with you. And then they're like, how dare you would suggest that this, this that the Senator has a daughter with a Reman. And then, you know, we apologize for letting her through. And then it's unthinkable. And then now we're down to present day. And we get... Uh, we get, uh, uh, we got Seven of Nine and Picard. So, John Luke, how have you been? Seven, what are you doing here? Um, hold the thought, there's one of them left. Who are they? She's got a giant rocket. That's them. Choom, and she's blowing shit up. Um, the pilot's a reman of the ship that just got blown up. And then Seven's there, and you eventually learn she's with the Fenris Rangers. Uh, if you don't remember who the Fenris Rangers are, that's the group she's a member of in Season 1 of Picard that feels like it was just forgotten about in that series. Well, they're going to reference that here, and we see a bit of them. And then uh, Seven's like, the Romulans are causing trouble. Um, and then we got some Romulan ships overhead. Um, this is so just jumped into the story, by the way. Um, and then, you know, Seven's like, we picked up a distress call not long after I saw you. Um, we're here to help out. Um, and then they're, they're in this kind of interesting underground cavern. I'll go ahead and say the art here has not thrilled me. It's, 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 it's it does its job, but this is not great art, in my opinion. It's fine. I don't know. Eh, it's kind of, eh. Um... But anyways, they got these aliens they're talking to. She she apparently knows them, and she's introducing Picard and saying he's an old friend. You know, and they, they have this meeting. Um, they're, they're getting some exposition dump, which is always important. And apparently, uh, apparently Picard's in charge of the Stargazer. Um, again, a new Stargazer, I assume, for the time period. And then, uh, yeah, the aliens, they're all getting, they're all getting together. Um, and then we got the Rangers... And Picard's going to join the Rangers and help him out. And then we got this woman with the, the evil teeth who's going to cause some chaos for him down there, I'm sure. And then they're getting ready to, to do their mission. And yeah, then they're, they're on foot, charging through, shooting through, because boom, boom, bang, bang. Um, I did think this was a cute little moment where one of the Rangers says... The Remans appear to have vacationed the premise, and the other one's like, vacationed? And then some's like, you get used to it. I have a fun little character beat. I enjoyed that. Um, and the Remans are kind of coming at them. Essentially, it seems like the Remans are trying to take over the place from these guys, and they're, they're helping them out. And then there's, there's, there's some fighting going on. Picard's like, stop it. And then we meet this woman who is obviously the daughter of a Romulan and a Reman. You know, obviously the girl we saw at the beginning. The baby. 
And yep, yeah, she's obviously introduced to be the, the villain, so her and Picard get some talking. And then uh, in orbit of both the planet, I assume this is the Stargazer? The newer Stargazer, I guess? It's weird. When they did doing a Stargazer series, I kind of assumed it'd be like a flashback thing back for Picard's original Stargazer, but apparently not. It's a Stargazer. It's my old ship. How did you find it? It was a derelict. Adrift in space on the far side of this star system. Anyways, yeah, uh, the ship decloaking, and it's a Romulan warbird, and they're facing him down, and they're like, hey, I'm Praetor Zenus, surviving son of Romulus, this world is mine, so, you know, fight. And then we got some artwork. That's That was the cover art. That was one of the alternate covers. Um... That was an alternate cover, but I, I, not bad. Um, this is really nice artwork. The, the, the four, oversized 400th issue for Spectacular. And then, you know, the advertising for Lower Decks. So this book, I know I'm just kind of diving into it because it had 7 of 9 in the cover. And we're talking about 7 of 9 on stream um, later today. Or not later today. Later, this weekend. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And... This book didn't thrill me really much at all. Um, I want to say two and a half stars on this one. It's it's it 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 it, it flowed fairly fine, but I just didn't really get engaged. It just was people shooting at each other. It is what it is. Shields up, computer. What are you doing? Collecting. On an old debt. <laughs> Stargazer. Books, records, films, these things matter. Call me shallow. It's the fucking truth. 